Hello friends, welcome to Anshish Tutor. In this video, we are going to analyze water flow between a heated stationary cone and a rotating cone. There are two conical shaped body. The space between these is filled with water. The top part is at temperature of 310 Kelvin and the bottom part is at temperature of 300 Kelvin. The bottom part is at rotating at a speed of 20 radian per second in anti-clockwise direction while the top part is stationary. You need to find out the flow and heat transfer between these two cones. Drag fluid flow flow into into closest schematic window. Right click on geometry and select new design model of geometry. Go to units, change it to millimeter. Select the XY plane. Make the sketch normal to the screen. And select the polyline tool and draw. Draw the sketch using the polyline. This is the half of this conical geometry. Slit is at closed end. Now go to dimensions. Put all these dimensions. Enter the values. Now click on generate. Now we are going to use the revolve tool to convert this 2D sketch into a 3D body. And click on the Y axis as the axis of revolution. Click on apply. Select the operation as add, add frozen. Then click on generate. Our conical shape geometry is complete. Now close this geometry and proceed for meshing. Open the meshing workbench. Go to sizing option, turn on the adaptive sizing, increase the resolution up to highest resolution and click on generate mass. So this is how our generated mass. Now select the top part. Right click and select create name selection. Name it as top surface. Similarly select the bottom one and name it as bottom surface. Select the side wall. Name it as side wall. Right click on the mesh and click on update. So the mesh will be linked with the fluent solver. Now close this meshing and open the fluent solver. To do the solver setup. Open the setup. Select the double precision solver. 
and click on start. This is the fluent window. Now go to models. Open the viscous model. Select the laminar model. Now click on OK. Turn on the energy equation. Now go to materials. Click on fluid. In the fluid material database, select water liquid. Click on copy, then close. Click on change create. Now water has been added as the material. Now go to cell zone condition. Click on edit. Change the default material from air to water. Click on apply, then close. Now go to boundary conditions. Click on bottom surface. Click on edit. Make it a moving wall. Select rotational. As it is about to rotate about y axis. So we are putting value axis as 1. and put in the speed as 20 radians per second. Now go to thermal tab, click on temperature, click on apply then close. So now go to top wall, click on edit, go to thermal tab, put it at a temperature of 300 tail Kelvin and it is a stationary wall. Click on apply then close. Now go to methods. Select the green gas cell based method. Go to monitors and decrease the residuals. Now go to initialization, select standard initialization, then click on initialize. Click on round calculation, enter the number of iterations up to 500, then click on calculate. It would take some time. Calculation is complete. Now proceed for CFD post processing results in the results section. Go to location and insert a new plan. Select the XY plan and Z as 0 so that the plan will be created at the middle. Now we are going to find out the contours plot on this plan. For this, insert a new contour. Select the location as the new plane. Select the variable as velocity. Select the local range. Enter the number of contours as 100. Then click on apply. This is the contour at the mid plane. Velocity contour. You can also change the color legend appearance. Similarly, change the variables to temperature, temperature variation in this plane. Now we are going to find out total 
contours along the surface of this cone. I have selected all the surface, then click on apply. This is a temperature control along the full cone body. Temperature is maximum at the top cone as its temperature is 310 Kelvin. Similarly, find out the velocity. This is the velocity control. Now we are going to insert a streamline. Insert a streamline. So let's start from solid. Click on apply. These are the streamlines in this flow field. This denotes the flow pattern along this cone. This is the quick animation of these results. With this, let's conclude this demonstration. If you have liked this video, then please hit the like button. If you are new to our channel, then please subscribe. Comment below if you have any doubt or any questions related to your project. Thank you. Keep learning and keep exploring.